Yes, thank you very much for joining us once again. Today is November 2nd, 2023. Thank God for a beautiful day. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. We are bringing you many more fantastic updates. In this particular video, Mohamed Kudus is trending and trending after scoring a beautiful and sumptuous goal versus uh, Arsenal Football Club in the EFL Cup or the Carabao Cup yesterday. West Ham United won the game 3-1 over Arsenal Football Club. And that was a beautiful goal from Mohamed Kudus. He has spoken about the goal. He has spoken about the pass um, that he got for the goal as well. Um, as um, he also spoke about the, the applause he received from the West Ham United fans when he was substituted from the game. Kudus Mohamed was substituted um, in the dying embers of the game and he received applause from the whole London Stadium. And what did Kudus or what is Kudus saying about all of that? We are going to bring all of that to you in a v this video. Also, Mohamed Kudus, a candidate for Man of the Match Award. And um, he wins that particular award also in that game versus Arsenal Football Club in the Carabao Cup. So yesterday, again, it was all about Mohamed Kudus and we are going to talk to you about all of that in this video. We will talk also about Ghana Black Stars player Jordan Ayu. Um, he's having a very good season with Crystal Palace and has extended his contract to one more season with Crystal Palace. We are going to discuss all of those issues. Daniel Kofitre. Another brilliant Black Stars player who has been unfortunate with injuries. And um, as I speak to you now, he's injured with anterior crucial ligament injury. ACL injury and he hasn't been playing for several months. The latest news on him. What is the latest news? What is the coach of Freiburg saying that when is um, <coughs> Daniel Kofitra coming back? We are bringing you all the details in this particular video do on this particular channel do all to subscribe to the channel if it's your first time watching us if you've not subscribed do all to subscribe to the channel like the video for me hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us we obviously have some more news for you where do we even start from let's start from muhammad kudus Mohamed Kudus is a fantastic Black Stars player who plays for West Ham United. He had back-to-back um, -back stats for West Ham United starting in the EPL game versus Everton as well as in the EFL game or Carabao Cup game versus Arsenal Football Club. Yes, unfortunately, West Ham United lost their game versus Everton, but then they won beautifully and um, impressively versus Arsenal Football Club in the EFL Cup. In fact, West Ham United are the only two teams to win over Arsenal this season. The first team is another Ghanaian Black Stars player's team, RC Lens, winning over Arsenal in the UEFA Champions League. And then the second team is West Ham United beating Arsenal 3-1 um, in the Carabao Cup. Now, Mohamed Kudus was voted a man of the match after the game. For me, I don't agree with them. I don't know. But you see, Kudus Mohamed, the reason why the fans love him is he entertains the fans. And that is one thing that gives him the edge when it comes to my voting man of the match. I think that Jared Bowen was the man of the match of the game. <laughs> it was clear. His contribution to the game he contributed to two of the goals. In fact, the first goal was an assist, but then he gave that beautiful co cro um, corner kick, um, Jared Bowen. And then he scored a third goal for West Ham United and could score the second goal. His overall play, um, his dribbles, his attacks, everything. I think that Jared Bowen um, deserved that. But the Kudus Mohamed goal is one that the fans cannot forget. And that is what... Um, fans love when they come to the stadium they want a, a moment they will never forget and that is what Kudus Mohamed gave them the control of the pass the goal how beautiful it was how crucial the goal was yes the second goal was more or less cementing their lead and that was a very important one and Kudus had some flashes of brilliance some passes he gave piercing passes dribbles so you would understand why the West Ham United fans will vote uh, emphatically 69% for Kudus. That's a emphatic win. So yes, uh, Kudus winning the man of the match over there. This is what Kudus Mohamed had to say after the game. Now, he says... It was a very important victory, you know. The past few weeks have been very difficult for us, but it was good to win and win big, you know. 
and uh, as forward players to get some goals in the net we knew we were playing a very good side so we had to be tactically disciplined and um and very strong defensively um you could see we had to defend a lot today because they had more parts of the ball and we were still effective um defensively our tactics was 100 percent we've been putting in a lot of efforts in training and so it's good to see it work over the weekend there is a new game coming in so we put this aside and we focus on the weekend Mohamed Kuru speaking on his goal he said that look the pass was so good that I didn't have to do much I just had to take my shot and shoot thanks to Agard and um, for the wonderful assist we always want to get the balls in the net and I also want to entertain the fans so that's what I do the fans clapping for you after the substitution. This is what Mohamed Kudus had to say about that. Yeah, thanks to the fans for the support. It's been amazing even when we are losing. They keep their support coming. Thanks to all the traveling fans who came out for the game. Quarterfinals with Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. The draw was made yesterday and West Ham United will be facing Liverpool in the quarterfinals. Very, very difficult game at Anfield. He said, from the start of the competition, we've been dreaming to win titles. We take it one at a time. This is what Kudus Mohamed had to say after a very impressive performance um, yesterday in a Carabao Cup versus Arsenal Football Club. Very, very, very good one. It makes all of us Ghanaians very proud. And um, as we are going to be playing the World Cup qualifiers in November, we want to see all our Black Stars players in very good form, especially our star boy, Mohamed Kudus, doing very, very well for himself. Ghana striker Jordan Ayu commits to Crystal Palace with contract extension. Now, Jordan Ayu, 31 years 31 or 31 years good now um his contract was originally expected to end on the june june 2024 so like next year his contract was going to end with crystal palace but then the team has extended his contract for one more season until 2025 june june 2025 and this is what jordan ayu had to say about a contract extension here has got he said that i'm so happy to have extended my stay with this special club again and this is my home and i'm really proud to hear our um, to wear our shirts um, the fans have always been amazing with me and the only way to play um, the only way to pay them pay back their support is to fight every minute of um, on the page thank you to the boss roy steve Parsh, um dog doggy fredman and the staff of for the trust they have put in me this is jordan are you speaking after his contract extension with crystal palace he's having a very very good season with crystal palace and so obviously it is no news that he has been uh, his contract has been extended by one more season this season is um, jordan's um season yes very 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 good season for him in fact he scored in their game versus Torium hospe um last weekend when they were playing the english premier league now fantastic black stars player daniel kofitre very very difficult situation for kofitre he's been out for several months because of an anterior crucial ligament injury he had in his parents club and um, fry back and um, he's still not yet back but the coach of sc fry back christian stretch provides injury updates on daniel kofitre and he says that kofitre will be coming back in no time he has started training with um the team and even making some runs doing some running and so maybe it, it will not take long Kofitre will come back and will be playing for Freiburg and to the larger extent for the Black Stars of Ghana. Let's hope and see if we can take Kofitre to the African Cup of Nations. But um, I don't think we will be able to take him to the African Cup of Nations. And he's going to be a very big mess for us if we are not able to have him for the African Cup of Nations 2023, which will be played in the January 2024. Let's hope for the very best. But the coach says that it's good news that the player has started training and running and uh, we will hope to have him back as soon as possible Kofi Jure, the whole of ghana have their hearts with you and we hope we wish you the very best of luck 
Thank you very much for staying with us. Do want to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and select all. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. It's always a pleasure to have you. I'll see you in the next update. Bye bye.